Hi, it's Paul here from Atomus, NAB 2022. Just want to show you a brand new companion app for Atomix Cast. Super exciting, Mac PC app. It's out on a public beta during May. Amazing functionality, which my colleague Lars is just going to run you through. Yeah, as you can see here, everything I do in the app is also changing right over there. And we can do our audio switching, we can do our overlays and all of, all of the stuff that you do in the app is showing up on the program and preview if you want, want to do that. Picture in picture also so you don't have to use the modifier keys that you might be used to from the cast itself, but you can still do all of the, the things, all of the control on the cast directly. Okay, so what we then have down here is um, making adjustments to the picture in picture, just how you used to do in the Atomix cast itself. So what you can do is choose the independent sources to lay over on top of the, the image, and then you can, of, of course, adjust the different sizes, also adjust the position to make it fit in the corner you need to. All right. Yeah, let's, let's move on over to the output menu where we have the different uh, options for the view modes. So the preview screen that we have over here, which is the Shinobi, would be currently previewing a preview input, but if you want to use a big TV to view all of the different inputs independently, you could do that too by going into multi-view mode to view the quad split over there. And then what we have over here is the different recording modes. So we have a clean mode, which would just be recording the program feed without any graphics or overlays enabled. And right then next to there, we have the cast program, which allows you to record all the graphics baked in. And so you're, yeah, you're recording potentially even the LUTs that we, that we have in the next tab. You could also bake them in um, by that. And that's what I'm showing you next. So you can choose each of the individual inputs going into the Atomix cast and yeah, get a still frame from one of these input sources and preview, pre preview it with different LUTs on top of it. You can also load these LUTs from your desktop too, which will just transfer all of the LUT files to the SSD that's plugged into the Atomix cast via the USB cable that's connected to the computer. Okay, yeah, and all of these LUTs, of course, can be put on top of each of the individual inputs. So if you want to match different cameras, for example, shoot a Canon and a Sony camera at the same time, you could load the S-Log Direct 709 LUT for the Sony and the C-Log 2709 LUT for the Canon. So you could get the cameras to match reasonably well within a short amount of time. And what we have over here is just um, the extension of the, the overlays that we have in the cast itself. We have a few advantages over here. If I bring up the cast overlay menus here, we see that there's just a very basic overview here where you have the different file names in place, which would tell you what files you're using. But due to the much larger screen area of the, of the Mac itself, you can actually do the file preview of all the different overlays that you're loading into, into the cast. And you also therefore have the preview of the different graphics, how that would actually look when you define your presets, which can be can be done over here, make the different presets via this overlay page. And yeah, you can store them st store them down here and then apply them to each of the individual inputs in the switcher mode. All right, yeah, that's about it for the Atomix cast. You can also start stop recording, enable the kill switch, the live switch, or also, yeah, start the recording right next to here if you want to record your program feed in ProRes or Avid DNX.